How are we doing guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video I'm going to be discussing with you how changing the inputs on your controller can lead to you decreasing your input time, which is going to be important because if you decrease the input time, that means you're acting and reacting faster to your opponent. And this is vital. Every millisecond you save off is um, increasing your chances of victory in PvP. So that being said, after watching this video, if you find value from it, I do I do hope you just uh, decide to share this with someone else that you think might also find value from it. Now, um, before we continue, PlayStation players specifically, I've asked people on your platform and they told me that you guys do have access to remapping your controller inputs. So you guys should also be able to do what I'm about to show you. All Xbox players, regardless of what controller you have, whether that's a basic default controller, an Elite, Elite 1, Elite 2, or a Scarf controller, you can do what I'm about to show you, and it's going to benefit you across the board no matter what controller you're using. So do stay, do stay tuned to, figure out exact, to find out exactly what it is. Now, before I explain what it is, let me show you guys the basic default controller inputs if you have not changed anything. So as of right now, if, you haven't, if you've got a basic controller or any controller with the basic default inputs from BDO, if you were to click in your right thumbstick, this would be drawing and sheathing your weapon. If you were to click in your left thumbstick, this would take you into an auto path mode. In my opinion, this is a very bad use of your thumbsticks and you should be reconfiguring this immediately to your D pads. Um, you can make arguments for other configurations if you'd like, but for me, the most intuitive reconfiguration would be changing your thumbstick inputs to become D pad inputs and not to lose any um, inputs from your controller, you would do the vice versa. So when you turn your thumbsticks into your D two D-pads, you will then turn those two D-pads to those respective thumbsticks, so you don't lose any inputs. I'll show you guys exactly what I mean practically in just a moment. Um, so if, if we were to press right now, I've got my, I've changed my configuration on my controller to the configuration I'm gonna show you guys how to do in just a minute. So right now, if I was to press my right thumbstick in, which I'm about to do, it's going to do blade spin. So this is me clicking in my right thumbstick. If I was to hold left trigger and click in my right thumbstick, it will do illusion of restraint. Um, now let's look at our left, D -pad, our left thumbstick. So if I'm clicking my left thumbstick, I will do block jump. And if I hold left trigger and click in my left thumbstick, I do flashing light. Now, so, so I haven't lost any inputs, what I've also done is right now I'm about to click in my right D-pad. So when I do that, you can see I sheave my weapon and I take my weapon back out. And then I'm about to now press down on my D-pad and now pressing down on my D-pad is my auto path. So I haven't lost any inputs, but I have a lot easier access to certain skills of my kit. Now, any class is gonna benefit from this, not from the ninja. And now let me discuss with you guys what skills you might want to consider putting on your thumbsticks now that we've reconfigured it. I'll go through the, re the actual reconfiguring in just a moment, but just imagine you've reconfigured it. Let's, let's see what skills is best to put in these positions. So the most obvious one is if there is a hotbar skill that is, has a low cooldown that you use a lot, definitely, definitely put that on your, um, on your thumbstick because if you're using it a lot, that means you're gonna get the most value from it. Uh, but the next most important one, if there is a hotbar skill or a skill that you can put on your hotbar that is one of your best reactory skills, 100% put that on your thumbstick. So what do I mean by that? So obviously Ninja has a lot of action-based and reaction-based skills, but one of the most powerful skills that the Ninja can use to react to someone is block jump. So I've put this on my left thumbstick. So if my opponent gets into a sticky position and I need to protect myself and I, I'm kind of stuck, I've got block jump. If he exposes himself, does something that plants them in place that allows him to do a block jump grab, for example, a katana shower, I can now do it, react very quickly with my left thumbstick. It's a lot faster than pressing left trigger and left bumper. So that's what I mean about a skill that you can react that's important for your reaction. Whether it is to protect you or punish your opponent, doesn't matter if it's an important reaction skill that's on your hotbar, 100% um, put it on your thumbstick. Now, um, the next one is picking a skill that can be used both in awakening and pre-awakening if you're not using a succession kit. So, for example, blade spin can be used in both scenarios. Illusion 
can be used in both scenarios. Block jump can be used in both scenarios. But if you're paying attention here, flashing light can't. Flashing light can only be used in awakening. So I do make exceptions to this rule if there is an important skill, especially if it's a movement skill. I think if you have a good movement skill, you definitely don't want to lose control of this movement skill. So putting it on your thumbsticks is going to allow you to have that increased control. So now that those are out of the way, there's a few extra pieces of advice I'd give you that I've learned over time. Um, if your skill requires you to have precise aiming, the hotbar skill that you are inputting, if and obviously you do your aiming with your right stick, I'd recommend putting the skill on your left thumbstick. So block jump requires me to aim onto my opponent to use it successfully. Therefore, I put block jump on my left thumbstick so I don't have to click in my right thumbstick whilst I'm changing my angle of perception. So once I'm looking around, moving my direction, that I'm, the, the direction that I'm looking in, if you are moving in direction and trying to press it at the same time, this could have like this jarring effect on your input, which might end up putting off, put, might end up putting off your aim. So I think anything that requires precision aiming should go on your left thumbstick. So if you look at my right thumbstick skills, I've got stuff like blade spin. This, the aiming on this does not matter. And I've got something like illusion. It, it semi matters in illusion because it is a forward guard, but it is a pretty big AOE. And again, it's not super important. It's not precision aiming. I'm aiming a, a large frontal cone rather than a precise um, precision skill. So precision skills, put it on your left thumbstick. Now, when it comes to movement skills, again, if you can, for, for flashing light, it really didn't matter what thumbstick I put it on because flashing light, unfortunately for Ninja, it doesn't matter what direction you're looking in. It only goes in through the direction the character's facing. And a lot of times that you use it, you're using it off specific, like using, let's say you do like Katana Shower. So it, it and you don't actually have to use the, you can use a different input for that, but Flashing light again, it doesn't really matter that much. But let's say you're using a movement skill. I don't know, I don't know all the skills that go on hot bars for different classes, but a skill that requires you to be looking around um, whilst activating it, then again put it on your left side. However, if the move I don't know if this even exists on a, uh, a movement skill that's on your hot bar, but if there is a movement skill for a class that is on your hot bar, that depending on your left stick changes how the the movement works, I then put the um, thing on your right stick. So your right stick, if, if the left stick controls the direction of movement with the hotbar skill, put the hotbar skill on your right stick. So those are all the tips that I'm going to give you guys. Now, um, I am going to be going into how to change um, for Xbox players, how to change the configuration. But there is one extra thing I'm going to go in there for specific classes that have the new WW cancel on console. I think Tamer and Sork are the main ones. There's maybe a few other classes I'm not thinking of or don't know of as of right now. Um, there's actually a cool thing you can do, especially, it's mostly though if you have an, like an Elite controller or a Scuff controller or a controller with paddles. Uh, I don't recommend doing what I'm going to show you for your WW cancel on a controller that doesn't have paddles because it's way too much muscle memory for you guys to reconfigure. And um, before you guys leave me, if this is all the information that you require, please do not give up quickly. It takes a while, like retraining your muscle memory um, to go from D-pad to thumbstick and vice versa. And like, it takes a while and it's gonna be jarring. And at the beginning, it's gonna be detrimental to your gameplay. But I'm telling you, if you guys stick with it, you're going to see benefits in the future. And you're going to be able to do things that other people are not going to be able to do as fast as you because of what you've learned here, depending on what skills you've used on the um, inputs of your thumbsticks. So if you guys that don't need any more information on how to change stuff or are not interested in the WW cancel thing that I'm going to show you, uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. But for Xbox players, let's start with you guys first and let's start about how you go about changing your, um, your inputs. So let's start with, you go to my game, like I got it here, but I'm gonna go through scratch. So if you, if you really don't know what to do, go to my games and apps, we're gonna go to see all, come down to apps, and then we're gonna come here to Xbox accessories. Every Xbox will have this basic app already installed. If for some reason you've deleted it in the past, then um, you just have to reinstall it by searching through it in the store. So then we're gonna click, uh, we're gonna click on your, 
we're going to click on your what's it called your profile so if you don't have a elite controller it's going to look a bit different here you're just going to have one option not three so that's the only difference that there's going to be but all we're going to do is we're going to like select a new profile and let's just call it bdo name it whatever you want to name it and we're going to start configuring some buttons so the very first thing you're going to do is you're going to come here to your right thumbstick that has the arrow sign pointing down you're going to click on that because we're going to reconfigure it and we're going to change it to right on our d-pad now if you want to have a different d-pad input for yours that's absolutely fine but if you want to follow exactly what i've done because you think my thought process matches yours then just follow me exactly now that that's done our left stick with the arrow pointing down is going to be reconfigured to down on the d-pad so we're not quite finished yet because now we've lost uh, some inputs so we need to get these inputs back so we're going to change our right thumb stick to our right d-pad so we clicked on the right d-pad here we're going to change sorry we're going to change this to be the um, right thumbstick input and down on the d-pad we're going to change this to be the left thumbstick input so now we've switched these around and we haven't lost any inputs then we're going to press b and then we're going to slot this in now i'm just going to slot this into slot three um, um obviously if you've only got one option you're going to slot it into the one option that you have um now I've actually changed a few of my paddles, but I'm not going to be using paddles in this demonstration. So what I'm going to show you guys is, oh, let's, let me go back to the app so I can show you. I'm switching to the one that I've just changed now. So you can see I'm selected on BDO, uh, BDO input three. So once you're done and you've put it into the slot and you've selected the slot. So now again, I've got the same inputs. I'm using right stick for those inputs. And now I'm going to use my left stick. You can see I've got left stick for, I've got to change, there we go. I'm using left stick for these inputs and if i press right on my d-pad i sheave my weapon and if i press down on my d-pad i do auto path so that's how you get the exact same configuration as me um and now for sword players or anyone that has to do ww cancel that um it, like ninja you don't ninja players you don't need this uh because for ninja players you guys are ww cancel is just forward b so this is not important for us but tamers and sorks and maybe some other classes um what you can do now this is going to be pretty jarring for your muscle memory so it's going to take a while for you guys to adapt to this is if you have a scuff or a controller with paddles um you can reconfigure you can reconfigure so let me copy that and let's edit it so you can reconfigure one of your paddles so let's just take a for example to become a forward input on your left stick now this is going to greatly help you it's not going to completely fix the issue that already exists with having to tap forward twice but when you're tapping forward twice on your left stick you have to re you tap forward and then you have to release the left stick and allow it to come back to center before you tap forward again for um for you to be able to do your ww cancel for your movement now it's a lot faster if you were to use um did i not one moment i don't think i assigned it i did not assign it so let's assign this to slot three real quick and let's switch to slot three so now i'm going to be clicking my paddle and clicking my paddle like in like obviously there is also a bit of lag time because you have to wait for the click to after you click it you got to let go and then click it again but that's a lot faster than the joystick lag that you have for waiting for it to go back to neutral so it is um it is pretty useful unfortunately what you can't do which what would have been really nice is if you were to press forward on your left stick and press your button at the same time it doesn't do the ww cancel as you can see so you kind of have to just double click it like so and maybe this guys will help maybe this will help some people out but again mess around with it i i can't really say if it's good or bad in theory it sounds good to me but 
I don't know because it's not something I actively use whether or not it actually is better. So if in theory it sounds good to you guys, give it a go and see if it works. And if it works for you and you're having more success with it, uh, come back and let us know in the comment section. Um, and maybe other sorks, uh, other sorks can get advantage of it as well. I'm actually trying to put it on two different paddles, see if I press my two battle paddles at the same time. It, it doesn't quite work, unfortunately. If I press like, yeah, you don't want to do it. Okay, that, that was just me experimenting a little bit. Just put it on one of your paddles. I would not recommend um, reconfiguring any buttons on your controller for this because this is a huge change. But you know, if, you, if you guys want to experiment as well, go ahead and experiment. But that's going to be the end of this video, guys. That's uh, how you reconfigure your controller, why you want to do it, and what skills you might want to consider putting on there. I hope this video has been helpful for you guys. And if it has been, do consider leaving a like, subscribing, sharing it with the community, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.